Hi guys, Dan the Wolfman here. Welcome to my review of the Thompson Center TCR 22 long rifle. Hopefully you saw my little brief mystery unboxing of this and my Walther PPQ 22 and already watched the Walther PPQ 22 review. So what is this? This is a kind of advanced updated Ruger 22 made by Smith & Wesson. So it should be pretty cool guys. Uh, as I pointed out in the uh, unboxing video, it has a cool rear peep sight, way in the back for long sight radius, rail to mount, an optic already ready to go, nice fiber optic front sight, nice long extended charging handle, comes with a 10 round rotary magazine, can take these evil Ruger banana clip gorilla style clip zines, and um, also has a 1.5 by 28 thread protector for when you want, don't want to be rude to your neighbors uh you know like kind of all the european countries are nice enough to allow so anyway guys let's get started all right guys first shots from the rotary magazine with federal 36 grain we're going to do federal 36 grain then go to browning 36 grain eventually and maybe uh if, depending on time might try some 40 grain some sonic fiocchi so Let's go. I did not disassemble it, but I did make sure the board was clear, and I did drop some oil on this side and open up the chamber and put some on the other side. Okay, I got two targets set up. Let's go for the upper left circle. Nice peep sight, fiber optic front. And slide locks back with their proprietary rotary magazine, not with the Ruger magazines. So let's see how I did. All right, not bad considering I haven't shot a rifle in a very long time. If anything, just a little bit high, but obviously that's very close range for a rifle. Nice job. All right, guys, I was just having all kinds of failure to feeds with the first BX25 loaded up with... Uh, uh, browning 36 grain it was kind of shimming the top of the bullet and failure to feed up the chamber even though i kept trying it was seated those are my hits so the accuracy on this rifle is there again if just a tad high but obviously that could be me on the close range uh, hopefully the next bx25 will run better it's just a breaking period okay guys to try and see if it's an ammo or magazine issue it seemed like the bx25 is seated but not seated high enough I still put the uh, Browning ammo, but back in their 10-round uh, rotary magazine, and it did chamber no problem, it seems like. Let's see. And uh, I guess I'll go for headshots all the way out. Huh, I counted 10. I think that was 10. I might have overloaded the magazine and they said not to do that. I might have overloaded the magazine. I'm going to pull that a little lower right, but it did lock back. Functioned good. So that ammo with that magazine, so that will try the other BX. All right, let's try the second Ruger BX-25. It was really hard to get it to go. It took some finagling. I got one in the chamber. Hopefully it will run since I managed to get one. Uh, in the chamber originally. Let's go five headshots on the right target. Liking that, liking that. Okay, let's do triple, triple, triple taps. Two bad guys, close range. Empty. All right, perfect functioning. I am very happy now. Happy, happy. Hopefully we'll just kind of get used to feeding from these bags or something. I don't know. I don't have a Ruger 10 22. Never had one. Used to have a Merlin 22 when I was quite young. 
All fast triple taps happening between two targets, transitioning three and three. All in the center ten there, and these are half size targets. These are these are thin. That's a fist. That's a heart. These are small targets. All those in the ten, and my first original five headshots up there again, just a little bit high. All right, original BX25 loaded with the Browning, loaded no problem this time. So that's a good thing. I hope that's kind of all it needs is some breaking periods with the magazines. Got two Desperados, uh, Robin and Plays, or active shooters going at it. So let's see if I can deal with them. So 10 rounds, perfect function. And in between all this, I shot three mags out of my awesome Walder uh, PPQ-22 and perfect functioning as well, which I used the Federal ammo in that for the first time. And so that's a good little update for you. Make sure you watch my Walder PPQ-22 video, yo. Hey, so I took out my active shooter robbery crew, three of the chest, went headshot to so the second guy, came back, made sure got, this guy was finished off, especially guys just if a 22, even though they're in the inner box and on the spine, right in the throat. And this guy gets four headshots. Again, these are maybe just a little high, but hey, that's how I'm shooting this rifle. And that's really not a problem. I prefer a little high to a little low. Other BX-25 loaded, no problem. This is great. So they're breaking in out now. I'm less worried. And uh, that's with uh, Fioki Subsonic 40 grain. So we got some Desperados I just happened to grab and go and I'm responding to, right? So let's grab and go. Jam on the third one. Double feed. Shit. Hopefully that second guy doesn't know I'm here yet. Okay, so one jam out of, I think I loaded 10. Um, Subsonic's the first time through the rifle. That's probably not bad. Okay, guys, I just wanted to show you those hits. For the guy up close, I decided I was going to put the. Uh, Use this at close range, just kind of point shooting, but with the front fiber optic green above, just above the peep sight, instead of wasting time letting your eyes when you got to deal with someone right away. Figured that with the headshots, the way to go. One, two, right in the nose where I was aiming. Three there, and uh, I think fourth there. Maybe another one there. So hey, that did its job. And uh, some Sonics here took them out mafioso style. Got my hits down a little bit lower right behind the ear. So other than the one jam that was the first time with the subsonics, that's probably why. It can always be like a primer strike or a bad round 22 long rifle. Uh, but it's probably just subsonics for the first time. So let's rock and roll a little bit more to finish this up. Now let's try some close range tactics. I think I got about 12 loaded up. So both eyes on the first guy transitioning 3-3-3. Closing the left eye. And, but just using the fiber optic above the peep, probably instead of putting in the peep, we'll see what happens. And empty, I counted right. Yay, I'm Paul Harold today. All right, six of these were point shooting, both eyes open, right? Just instinctive point shooting shows you how linear you can be, guys. And here again, remember, I knew they'd be just a little high from where I was aiming because I put the fiber optic just above the peep sight for speed purposes. But those are good. Those will get to his goodies right there to take out this bad E. So, my friends, what are my overall opinions? I think it's worth a tiny bit extra money than a lot of models of Ruger 1022s. Because the rail, I, I'm ready to mount optics. I got a very nice peep sight rear, which is similar to peep sight on a... They are, isn't it? I got a beautiful fiber optic front. I'm threaded for, you know, keeping things quiet, my fellow War Marines. Um, I think we had no failures with the magazine, rotary magazine that comes with it. Had some teething issues with the BX-25 at first, but once those worked out, I think things were really good. As far as rounds on the chamber, that didn't fire, and I think it was just the third shot uh, with the subsonic, if I remember. And, you know, the first times with the subsonic, I always say you got to use hotter ammo to break in any firearm guys so look at my uh, walner ppq 22 review hope you enjoyed this review on the tcr 22 i think is what it's called and guys always thumbs up share subscribe look at all my playlists look at my best pp playlist look at my combatives my jujitsu my catch wrestling all that and i'll catch you